Okay, this is another question for introduction to parallel AC circuits. This is a tricky one. Um, so here I have two inductors that are wired in parallel with each other. Um, inductors are pure in this case. It tells me that I have a source voltage of 120 volts with an unknown frequency. It gives me the current of the first through the first inductor 1.91 amps, current through the second inductor 1.26 amps, and it gives me the inductance rating of Henry's for my uh, L1.19 Henry's. And the question wants me to find L2, so I'm looking for the inductance rating of the second inductor. So the information that I have to work with in its entirety would be found here in the first branch. I have inductance, which can be converted into inductive reactants, but I don't have the frequency, so that's not gonna help but I do have the value of voltage across that inductor and I have the current. So that's another way that I could find the capacitive reactants or rather the inductive reactants when frequency is not given, okay? So um, I'm going to find the XL of the first inductor by doing, again, these are pure um, voltage. So it would be VXL1 divided by IXL1, which is 120 volts divided by 1.91 amps, and that will give me XL1, okay, 120 divided by 1.91 equals 62, 62.82 or 83 rather ohms, okay. So that'll be my XL. Sixty two point eight three ohms. So now I can find the frequency because I have the XL. Okay, so let's do that and then I can apply that to um, to find the L over here. Okay. So XL equals 2 times pi times frequency times inductance, okay? So I'm looking for frequency, so I would divide by 2 times pi times L. What I do on one side, I do on the other, okay? So L equals, or frequency rather, equals XL divided by two times pi times L, okay? Frequency equals XL, 62.83 ohms, divide that by two times pi times 0.19 Henry's, and that'll give me, so for my bottom, two times pi times 0.19 equals 1.194, Okay, so 62.83 divided by 1.194 will give me my frequency. Okay, 62.83 divided by 1.194 equals a frequency of 52.62 hertz. Now I can apply that to finding the L of this guy. Okay, so I can find the XL because I, again, I have the volt drop and I have the current, right? So XL2 equals 120 volts divided by the current, 1.26 amps, and that gives me an inductive reactance of 120 divided by 1.26 equals 95.24 ohms. Okay, so that's my XL2. Okay. 95.24 ohms. Now that I have the XL, I can work that formula backwards to get my L. So XL equals two times pi times frequency times L. I want to get L on its own by, so I divide by two pi F. And what I do on one side, I do on the other. Okay, so L will equal XL 
95.24 ohms divided by 2 times pi times frequency, which in this case is the frequency given here. So 2 times pi times 52.62 hertz, and that would be 95.24 divided by 2 times pi times 52.62 equals hmm, that's uh, 7,000 7,872.09 and that is not right so let me just get psych let me just get the bottom number so 2 times pi times 52.62 equals, okay, so 95.24 divided by 330.62. Okay, that, that seems uh, accurate. So 95.24 divided by 330.62 equals 0.288L. So my L... 2 equals 0.288 Henry's. Okay, so that's 0.288 Henry's. Hope this helps you guys. It's a doozy. Okay, take care.